Hey guys, it's Dana, and today we are going to make Halloween Mega Chocolate Bombs. They are perfect to go into hot water or hot milk, both dairy and non-dairy. All the ingredients are below in the comment box, so make sure to save the video and subscribe to my station. Okay, so we're going to take a large plate and we're going to put that in the freezer. Then we're going to pour orange candy melt into a microwavable safe bowl. When we do that, we're going to heat it for about 30 seconds and then stir and continue to do that until the candy is fully melted. Then you're going to go spoon by spoon into each cavity using a pastry brush. And you're going to want to make sure to go off the sides as well. Then place that into the freezer for five minutes and pull it back out and repeat the same process. While that's happening, place a microwavable safe plate into the microwave and give it two minutes to heat it up and then set that out. Pull those frozen shells that we just made out of the freezer and lightly remove them, placing them onto that frozen platter that we prepared. One by one, you will take each of these spheres and place them on the hot dish to make those edges soft and smooth and so that they're melted a little bit. We want to mold a top to a bottom. So you will do this to one piece and then you will take a bit of the cocoa mix we did and fill it, set it aside and do it the top half melting as well. Once you've done that, we're going to close the cocoa bomb by placing the two of them together and they will melt together without a problem. And if they don't, just put your finger around the seam. That shouldn't be a problem to smooth it over. Then you're going to go ahead and put the black wafers into a pastry bag or a microwavable safe plastic bag and when you do this, you'll be melting it in the microwave just quickly to get it to heat. Massage the bag and then snip off the end and drizzle and then place those confetti sprinkles over top of the chocolate bombs. Now, once we've done this part, you've done all of the hard work. It's just about time to enjoy them. Your guests will love seeing them on trays. So go ahead and de decorate a tray, add a couple extra confettis to make it look really like seasonal and fun. And then you'll need to prepare six ounces of hot water or milk, dairy or non-dairy, for each of the um, different glasses that you'll be serving. So for each person, you need six ounces of liquid for these hot, um, these cocoa bombs. Oh my gosh, I'm losing my words. So what you'll do is once it's heated, you'll then have your guest or yourself place one of these in and watch what happens. This is my favorite part. It's like a science experiment. And oh my gosh, do they taste good. My only tip here is once it actually melts and you make sure that water is very warm, make sure to stir it well to get all of those pieces broken down into that heat. And remember, this is a really hot beverage. So take your time before you drink it. Thanks again for watching my video. Make sure to subscribe to my station and I hope you enjoy it. Happy Halloween.